Uh, uh. Mm. Come in, come in. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> come in. <laughs> so good. <laughs> uh, uh, when I was 11, uh, I tried to steal a flashlight and, and I got caught. <laughs> they said, uh, if you ever come back in this store again, there's gonna be big trouble. I come here 10 years later to work and I've been here ever since. I told my boss Russell this 20 years later and he had a laugh. I can't even remember what I wanted the flashlight for. I started working here when I was uh, 19 years old and I was given the position of checker so I thought I was something big and important. Uh, I'm nobody special, uh, I'm still a checker but uh, I know my job through and through. <laughs> Thoroughly. I've had customers who you try to be nice to and who give you ignorant responses. Like, 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 like one time I had this lady who I said, oh, excuse me, ma'am, your purse is open. And she turned around and said to me, why? Are you going to take something? I said, is it because I'm black? Is that it? Man, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Uh, about being black, that stuff don't matter no more, but, 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 but it did, it, it, it did. Uh, all my friends growing up used to think we were James Brown, uh, uh, but, but, but then we also thought we were tough guys. Uh, we used to go around beating up on people. Back then I was around a lot of black people. Uh, uh, all my friends were from Nova Scotia and uh, they were really racist too. So, 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 so I was going along with the crowd. I used, to, uh, I used to jump on people and beat them up. To me, I was racist too. Until my mother sat me down one day and she asked, why do you hate white people? I said, because I do. And she said, well, do you love your grandmother? I said, well, yeah. She said, well, what color is she? And that's when it hit me. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> my, my grandmother's white. You, you, she was from Scotland, settled in Glace Bay, Cape Breton, married a man from the Barbados, if you can believe it. 52 grandchildren. <laughs> My mom calls us Heinz 57 because we're all mixed up, <laughs> all different colors. <laughs> so, 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 so after that, that, that conversation with my mother, I, I changed. I started hanging out with new friends who were white. I started listening to new music, CCR, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I went to the Led Zeppelin concert in Detroit, man. So after that, now today I got an arsenal of music. All the Motown oldies, CCR, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Jimi Hendrix, you name it, man. You name it, I got all the CDs. Uh, j just the other day, I was loading out some boxes out of the truck, and I loaded a big shipment of flashlights. Huh. 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 I had myself a chuckle. <laughs> and the kid. And the kid. The boy that was helping me, he said, what's so funny? And I tell him, I tell him the story when I was 11 and I tried to steal the flashlight. And I came here when I was his, I came here when I was his age, when I was 19 years old. Man. And I looked into his eyes and I saw my life. I saw my life in those boxes.